you like the boxes? Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today I am about to show you guys an unboxing video from three weeks ago. But because it's three weeks old, I'm able to provide you the unique opportunity to give you an update immediately on this unboxing. So I'm going to unbox the plants and then I'm going to be showing you guys clips that I just shot moments ago. So there are a three week update immediately on this unboxing. Now, because I'm filming it this way, it's going to be broken down into two different parts because it's getting really long and I have to stop editing today and get to taking care of these baby plants. So I'm breaking it down into two parts. Here is the first half of my Jolly Farmer unboxing. It's a huge one. There are 18 boxes and there's also a little kitty cat update. You'll see Miss Evangeline multiple times throughout this video. All right, guys, enjoy this unboxing and immediate update. Okay, very exciting news, guys. Hi, flower friends. It's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and my, I guess, biggest shipment of little baby plants here for the nursery just arrived. The truck just pulled up alongside. I'm all by myself today. <laughs> so I've got to go out there and make uh, probably a million trips in here with boxes. Actually, there are 18 boxes. There were 19, but they were able to combine one. So there are 18 boxes. So um, yeah, I better go outside and meet the driver and start unloading the back of the truck. This driver's actually backing right up to the door so we don't have to make the long haul because it's just me today. Perfect, oh my gosh. but I did get pink and white. Look how gorgeous these look. Look how healthy it looks. Wow. I don't want Yeah, dragon wing begonias. These get uh, really, really big and beautiful. So there's one. That's 144 of them. And this is the white dragon wing begonia. Oh my gosh, we're gonna need Jerry to make another dump run. Yep. Equally beautiful. Beautiful. And here are some of those pink dragon wings just a couple of weeks later. They're really starting to fill out their size. They really have tripled in size since we potted them up and they're looking great. <laughs> That's right, I'll edit it. We have a, what's this thing? Oh, it's right here. Obsession Mix Berry Tart Verbena. I have no memory of ordering this. Who are you? Some grass. Bellamy Blue Myosotis. Myosis. Myosis? Myosis. The most. The most. <laughs> Who is this? This is, oh, this is Foxglove. I picked up a Dalmatian Mix Foxglove. This is a first year flowering Foxglove. Always a good cut flower, but great for landscape as well. The Obsession Berry Tart Mix was one of the last things we got potted up. But there is one back here <laughs> blooming. It's just a variety of different colors for the verbena. They've put on a little bit of growth, but not as much because they sat in their trays probably the longest. Update on the Bellamy Blue Myosotis. Myosotis. It is super cute. Look at all of them, guys. It looks like little forget-me-nots. Beautiful. And these get about nine inches tall. Yeah, they're really super cute. Looks like they're a perennial in zones five through nine. Really pretty. We are zone four, but some of my customers live in zone five, so we'll see. Here are those fox gloves. They've really, <laughs> you're probably gonna hear me saying this a lot. They've really taken off. I mean, they were little tiny little babies when we put them in here just a couple weeks ago. Fox gloves are looking great. Ooh! Woo! Not Sapagonias! Ooh. 
non-stop apple blossom begonia. Look at the coloring on the, the leaves on that. All right, and that's salt. No, I get that. We need to move somewhere else. These are really pretty. Um, we did some four inch pots, but we also did some of these premium six packs for someone who's looking for a larger quantity. All right, box number two. That's Dave. Dave, Dave, Dave. We have impatience. These are the first impatience that I have here. Look how cute they are. Oh. These are Beacon Mix Cenabelle. These are Beacon Rose. We have Beacon Coral and Beacon White. These are so cute too. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine how many pots I'm gonna have of these? I'm gonna need a few more greenhouses. Yeah. We did a few things with the impatience. One of them was to do these bags. They're starting to grow. And then I'll show you what else we did. We made these premium large six packs. Now I'm learning and I'm finding out that the size plug that I bought, which was a 144, is meant to make four or six inch pots. So if I were to put these in a regular size six pack, I needed to order the 512 size plugs because these are just gonna get way too big. I mean, they've already like quadrupled in size in just a couple of weeks. So next year I need to order smaller sizes to do a regular size six pack. This is, this is an extra large six pack, but these are the Beacon Coral. As you can see, there are quite a lot of them. And the reason that I chose to do them in these premium six packs is just for basically for space saving. Look, at, can you imagine if all of these were in six inch pots, it would take up a tremendous amount of room. Next year, I'll know to order, I guess, fewer of these, but look how healthy they look. They look really good. I'm so excited to see the rest of them bloom. The red star is the only one that's blooming, but they are really good. And guys, these are plants that like the shade. So these are sun or shade. And a lot of people are looking for that. I can't tell you how many people are going to be coming here saying, I need something that does well in the shade. So I'll have something for them. <gasps> My favorite tray. One of many. <laughs> it's the um, Silver Falls Dicondra. Oh. This is amazing. Now these are vines that beautifully fall. I've only been growing the hanging baskets for three weeks now and they're already cascading down over the basket. Um, these are gonna be, I think I might do uh, four inch pots with these, but I also wanna do um, some hanging baskets of just Silver Falls Dicondra because I have those at my house and I love them. Who are you? Oh, here we go. This one is a begonia. It's a cocktail begonia. And this one is whiskey. All of the cocktail begonias are named after liquors. Yeah. Whiskey. There's, there's a bunch. Excuse me. Excuse me. The Silver Falls Dichondra are all right here in four inch pots. I didn't get a chance to put any in hanging baskets and I'm kicking myself. Here are the Silver Falls Dichondra that have been in these baskets for six weeks. They're just fantastic. They are putting on a lot of size. We haven't watered yet this morning. My um, team member Branda is coming into water in just a little bit. These are the tequila ones. And there are the, there are the vodkas. They're all just about doing the same thing. They're super cute. There are the whiskey. This is the Cleo Mix, the variety name, I can't remember. Sparkler, Sparkler 2.0. I'm also growing some other Cleomes already. I think those are the magenta Cleomes are the ones that I have. Wow, guys, I just came in here. These have, I mean, how do I put it into, it was probably this size when we planted it, like one leaf <laughs> and they're taking off. The Cleomes, they're almost like little bushes. Let me take the tag and show you the back. This was something a landscaper asked me to carry, so I did, but they look, they get huge. 36 to 44 inches by 24 by 36. Full sun. This one, 
is a sparkler mix. The other one, magenta, I've been growing for three weeks longer than this. I'll show you guys that right now. It's incredible. Wow. All right, just to put this in perspective, here's my hand. <laughs> so here's that. This is the magenta mix. Look at these. They're incredible. Oh, they're so fun. I'm sitting in a chair now. These are in five and a half inch deep pots. The other ones I put in four inch pots just because that's what I had at the time. I might have to pot them up. <sighs> Spearmint. Oh. oh my goodness. This is some delphiniums. Delphiniums are perennials. And this is the Magic Fountain mix. And uh, they will be potted up and hopefully look gorgeous for customers. I might steal some. Spearmint, oh, oh my goodness. More impatience, we have the beacon salmon. No memory of this. I want, I'm so excited about this. This is apple mint. So it's mint. It's like fresh yeast, a little bit citrus, but not citrus, but fresh, fresh. Mm. Mint. The last one in the box is chocolate mint. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, like it does have a coffee smell to it. This is a chocolate mint. The delphiniums are back here and I did premium perennial pots over here. So there are six packs of these delphiniums. It's a nice option for people who want to have a little bit more than just, uh, you know, one of them. But I also do have individuals potted up into four inch pots for people who do just want one. The mint, I did a little individual herb pots. I have the chocolate mint, the apple mint, and the spearmint. I have a couple trays of each of these, but something really cool that I'm doing, guys, is I'm offering a six pack of a variety pack. I'm doing this with a lot of stuff. So in this six pack, you have two apple mints, two chocolate mints, and two spearmints. And this is for people who want to sample it all. I'm doing this with basil, and I'm also doing it with tomatoes. The way that one of my followers described chocolate mint is it kind of smells like a peppermint patty, and they're totally right. More cocktail begonias, starting with gin. Look how pretty that is, that color. I like that color. It's a, like a burgundy, burgundy. Brown. Brown, yeah, burgundy brown. Like a candy bar. Mmm. Candy bar brown. Delicious. And here we have vodka. So it's a more more brown than that burgundy one. Okay. Go ahead. Watch your hair. Okay. What's going on? Alright. And then this is a non-stop begonia. This is fire. Should show you. Should show you. Fire. Other side. Strawberries. Another tray of strawberries. This is called a Beltran strawberry. I think it's an Everbearing. I'll have to look that up to confirm. More impatience. Ooh, these ones are a lot darker than the other ones. These, well, that makes sense. These are impatience red star. The other ones were more vibrant green. These have red stems. Who's this? Oh, it's tequila. Oh my goodness. That looks like a night Blood. after tequila. <laughs> There's flowers. Uh, we're being extremely cautious when we're opening these plants up um, because a lot of these plants, like I've said a million times, toxic to little babies. I was just reading the begonias can cause extreme irritation if ingested by kitties or doggies. <laughs> Say hi. Say hello. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think, I honestly don't know if you could get cuter. Here 
are the strawberries. They're not as large as the strawberries that we did a month ago, but they're filling out their pots nicely. I will show you an update. Now, my mom and a couple of my helpers are very new to this. Um, so we're learning that uh, we need to tuck the tags down lower because when I water, I'm finding that the tags have been flying all over the place. A couple of them have been knocked down in the back, but here are all those strawberries. Let's go look at the hanging baskets though, because they're super full. Here are some of the hanging baskets of the berry basket rose ones. They're all looking good. Some of them are flowering and then the other ones are inside. Here are the other berry basket roses that are not in that pot. These are in individual four inch pots and they're starting to let runners go. I'm just letting it go. People will be able to buy them with runners. So that's kind of exciting. There's quite a few of them. So it's done. That was fast. Mom's painting. Um, there was a small section of wall inside greenhouse number one where concrete and cinder blocks and stuff were. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, she, there she goes. So there was a small section of wall that was blocked, and now we finally got everything moved out, and we're starting to clean up in there, get ready for opening. Mom just painted the uh, the missing cinder block spots. Oh my god. Wow, this is the variegated Plectranthus, and I can't remember how many trays I got of this. So I'm not even going to take these out of the box here. I guess I will. More. This is the same thing. It's a variegated plink tray. These are split trays, so one's falling on me. <laughs> They're variegated plectranthus. They look amazing. All right, we've got those. And two more trays of the same thing. I actually have um, that one landscaper wants, I think, 80 of these. I can't remember, but it's a lot. Bego more begonias. This is Belliconia Rose and Belliconia Mango. Trying to get it. Oh. Ooh. Yes. Actually, you can see it's got a mango flower in there. That's going to be gorgeous. Here's some of that variegated plectranthus. It is really starting to fill out, and obviously, it's like branching. And there are, I'm not even kidding you, I think I have 100 or 280 of them. Yeah, 280. Now I showed you guys in a video the other day an update on the Belliconia Rose and the Mango, but it bears repeating. These are so good. They're considered a trailing begonia. This one's, uh, those ones are the rose. The Mango is this lighter color. Super cute. And they're all right here. I love the, the way that they, their foliage takes shape. It's kind of almost like a protective wing shape. Oh, it's really beautiful. We have geraniums. We've got red, red, burgundy, pink, pink, red. Geraniums. Here is a geranium update. There are about 300 red geraniums, which I gotta be honest with you, I don't think it's enough. I already have landscapers asking me for 50 of this color or 50 of this color. Um, the red is the most popular which is why I got mostly red, but I did get all the other colors. I showed you guys in a video the other day, but I have some salmon ones. This one is a large pink. Up here, we have more of the mega splash. I showed you guys some of these the other day. More salmon, look at that. That is beautiful, stunning. I'm really excited about these. Brand is actually here. She's watering over there. These are all what I'm updating you guys on, guys. All this stuff. Oh, showing you the updates. Here's more geraniums over here. And there's more geraniums down here. Uh, but look at this. This one's a burgundy color. Looks like I pinched my pinky. It's a little blood blister. This is a burgundy. I really love it. And then more of the mega splash on the other side. This one is the magenta. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And there is the mega splash. It's mega. 
I could pinch these blooms. You could just take them and take them off and let the plant just focus on growing, uh, which is what I did for a lot of them when we planted it, but not all of them. These are the Calabrocoas. Wow, that's a lot of color. Like raspberry these are for four inch baskets or four inch pots I should say we already did a lot of these in hanging baskets and now we're doing the little four inch because people like to make their own hanging baskets this is a snow which is obviously white here right here we have hot pink and iconic purple these are both these are all so far all four colors that I had a couple weeks ago delivered for baskets sun patience coral and lavender splash Ooh, I'm excited about this one. Some patients, they're all just green right now. More Callies. Classic white and illusion. Ready? And then, look, this looks like a lantana. Ooh, that one's starting to color up, huh? This is a Bacopa, Gulliver, Gulliver Pink. I'm excited because I don't have any Bacopa in yet. So it doesn't look like much now, but it gets really pretty flowers. In fact, it's got one. my favorite flower in number three right now is the double indigo bacopa. It's gorgeous. Shouldn't say it's my favorite because there's another one that bloomed this morning that I think is. This is a lantana Havana cherry. Doesn't really look like much. I don't know much, but I know I love you. Iconic Cherry Blossom, Kella Burkoa. And over here, another Lantana Heartland White. Woo! That's it for the box. update on my <laughs> my baby I love you so much say hi oh she is pretty amazing she comes to work with me every single day and she just loves to hang out you gonna get that camera this is where Evangeline if you don't this is Evie Evangeline or Evie these boxes were made from the barn wood from the barn, my friend Jerry. Oh, <laughs> my friend Jerry got the wood down from the second story of the barn and built these boxes. I think we have six or seven of them and um, they are going to be used for display and stuff around. And this is the first one that we have up, but someone likes it. She's my cat in the box, Kiki. All right, guys, that's it for this video. It's gotta be broken down into two parts. <laughs> Number one, I don't have time to edit the entire thing this morning and I wanted to get you guys a video. Number two, I'm editing it right now and it's already like 22 minutes long. Probably a little bit longer because I didn't put an intro and an outro, which I'm filming right at this very second. So it is gonna be a two part unboxing slash three week update. It's kind of cool, it's something different and you guys can see immediately <laughs> how big the plants have gotten. Oh, she's gonna get in the way top. She hasn't done that yet. You gonna do it now? She uses this stool. So. <laughs> oh, you are such a princess. Yes. You better not. Oh no, she didn't. Oh no, she didn't. Kiki. Evangeline.
You want to get down? <laughs>